It is now time to welcome our special guest of the evening, Mayor of the largest city of Canada, a very good friend of the Tamil community, someone who has seen the community grow from at least for a couple of decades, if I'm not wrong, and, and he's made it a point to always speak about the Tamil community at other community events, and I've witnessed it. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome his worship. of sharing the city with so many of you. 
but it also maybe led me to understand a little bit better the kind of people that you are. And so when I did a little tape today, and I don't want to spoil whatever it's going to be used for, but there's a little tape that I did today where I was asked to talk a little bit about the Tamil community and what I thought about the Tamil community. And I said, well, I would pick the word enterprising. I, among many words I could pick, I could have said warm and, and, and uh, you know, and I could have said a lot of things. But I said enterprising because I saw that the people who arrived here in those most extraordinarily uh, difficult circumstances to a place they'd never been before, to even weather that has never been experienced before. And I was checking tonight with a couple of people here just to make sure it never is cold in Sri Lanka because when I'm in there, it's warm all the time. And yet you come and experience this. But also you experienced, I'm sure, um, not consciously on the part of people here, but a sort of an exclusion or an inability to penetrate um, the sort of economic system. And as a result, what, what did you do? You went out and formed your own businesses and forged your own way as professionals and as business people. And in the process, have not only made wonderful lives for yourselves, but for hundreds and thousands of Canadians, many of whom are not Tamil by background, you've created jobs for them too, and that's made a huge contribution to the success of this city. And then I made a mention at the same time about parenting, because you've heard me talk about this before, and that only comes from the fact that over a period of probably literally 20 years, I have gone since the community was here in a, in a, in a, in a critical mass, to the programs of every description that every parent makes sure they put their kids in, whether it has to do with dance, and some of the talent we saw, or singing, or the active brain programs, or all these kinds of things. And I can just see there a level of parenting that is to be held as a role model and an example for the rest of it, that that obviously comes from the heritage, both recent and more ancient of this community as well. So I'll just say to you that that's why I find it such a pleasure to come out here, because I want to just say to you, thank you for blessing us with the fact that your heritage has added to our heritage as to how we can improve ourselves and make ourselves even better uh, and more committed as Canadians and committed to those values that we hold so dear of being inclusive and of making sure that we learn some of the lessons of people who come from very different circumstances as uh, both of the speakers previously uh, have described. And I just want you to know that the only one thing I take issue with that I've heard tonight, and this is very important, I heard and I wrote it down here because I heard that uh, Nathan Chan was described as our very own. And I just want you to know that no, you have to share him with the rest of us now. He is not your very own. He's ours in the collective sense. And I want to say this when I'm standing here because I, tonight um, I, I get to issue these proclamations. It's sometimes all you feel you get to do as the mayor all by yourself. Everything else pretty much, you know, and quite rightly so, involves the approval of the rest of the council. And I'm to provide leadership and I'm the head of the council. But these proclamations, I can tell you, this is the first one since I've been mayor, an official proclamation that I said, no, I want somebody else to sign it with me. Um, to proclaim Tamil Heritage Month for January of 2018, the ninth Tamil Heritage Month in Toronto. And the reason for that is because to me it was such a proud occasion when Nathan Chan got elected, and I didn't know him very well when he got elected, but it was a proud occasion nonetheless because I knew this community and I thought it was perfectly fitting that in, on a council that is not representative yet of the city that it represents, there should be a member of this most enterprising Tamil community on the city council. But then, even better, I got to know him. I got to know him, and we don't always agree. But I will tell you, a more genuine, hardworking person that doesn't exist on the city council. I go to a lot of events. I consider myself a pretty hardworking mayor. I'm telling you, he works as hard as I do. Um, and he goes to things that don't involve the Tamil community and don't even involve his own ward. When we're down at the city hall and we are celebrating other people's heritage months or other kinds of things that involve the struggles of other people, he's there. And so I just want you to know that he does your community proud. And as a result, I do have to just take modest issue with this very own Nathan Shan thing. We need to share him too. So thank you for saying that. On that note, may I just say to you, and I'm not going to read this proclamation, uh, but I will give it to the chair, and he, I'll ask him to come up uh, here, perhaps with Nathan, and then we can have a photo taken of the, with the three of us with this official proclamation. May I just conclude by saying thank you because you do give me the chance. It is true that I talk about uh, the enterprise and the values of the Tamil people that we're blessed to have as fellow Canadians all the time. And that's only because it is so richly deserved. And it is not a single occasion that I come to be among you that I'm not feeling warm and embraced um, and, and, and a part of uh, your community. And for me, that is a very special blessing as well. There are very few communities that I feel that I've known for as long that I've got to know as well, and uh, that is something that is a great a gift 
when you have a city that is as diverse and complicated as this one to try and uh, help to lead. So if I could ask you, uh, Mr. Chair and, and Councillor Shan, to come up and receive this official proclamation. It's funny that Nathan will be involved, but we see he's helping me present it because he signed it too. So he has signed this official proclamation, officially declaring January 2018 uh, once again to be Tamil Heritage Month in the City of Toronto. And Andre, thank you very much.